Top of the skinny this morning, celebrities paying tribute to Joan Rivers. She was a standout late night comedian, and now her successors are remembering her legacy. Jimmy Kimmel played a clip from her last night on his show. What does your grandson want to do when he grows up? Does he uh, know yet? Right now, he's 10. He wants to be a, a football player, but, you know, stupid. What do you want him to be? Gay. <laughs> you want him to be gay? I want him to be gay. <laughs> Judy Garland. <laughs> <laughs> David Letterman on his show last night praised her worth ethic and her guts. She was harder on herself than anybody, really. She would tell these god awful jokes about herself. So she felt like, look, if I'm going to tell them about myself, then there are some other people out there that grow up. These are just jokes, ladies and gentlemen. A lot, it's true, a lot of self-deprecating humor. Well, Jimmy Fallon had welcomed Rivers back to NBC's The Tonight Show 26 years after her fallout with Johnny Carson. It's, un it's unbelievable when you see how much her work ethic and everything that went into it. She had a, a file cabinet full of jokes that she would have, like a file cabinet full of jokes. Like, there was one I saw, like there's a whole stack of cards about Tony Danza. I go, why, <laughs> why would you need that? I don't know why, it's, why would you have that? I never thought of that, to have a file cabinet full of jokes. Tony Danza. You gotta have it. Well, uh, the Kennedy Center is recognizing five performers for their lifetime contributions to American culture. This year's honorees are the beloved everyman actor and filmmaker Tom Hanks. Comedian Lily, Lily Tomlin, she's also being honored, who created the ditzy telephone operator Ernestine and who co-starred in the movie 9 to 5. British rocker Sting, whose songwriting has conquered this continent too. And soul stylist, the Reverend Al Green, everybody knows his version of Let's Stay Together. You gonna sing it for us? No. And ballerina Patricia McBride, who danced with the New York City Ballet for 30 years. The president and first lady will toast all of them at a gala performance in December. Looking forward to it. Yeah. The president, of course, sang one of his songs. Did he? Yeah. It was common tape. Yeah. I look forward We've to seeing yeah. that. <laughs> well, Bruce Springsteen is a mega rock star, and he's now starring on the small screen, too. The boss will make his TV acting debut alongside E Street bandmate Stephen Van Zandt in the Netflix TV series Lilyhammer. Van Zandt, of course, was a regular on The Sopranos. In Lilyhammer, Van Zandt stars as a gangster in a witness protection program. Bruce will have a small role as a owner, and we hear that the, another Sopranos veteran, Tony Cer Sirocco, will have a regular role in Lilyhammer playing a priest. That'll be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. And a couple of celebrity milestones to note this morning. Actress Scarlett Johansson is welcoming her first baby, baby Rose Dorothy. Her spokesman says mom and daughter are doing well and that Scarlett and uh, her fiance, a former French journalist, want to keep the baby out of the public eye. You can't blame them for a that. A little huh? Scar Joe. <laughs> and actress Alyssa Milano is now a mother of two. The star of TV's Mistresses is welcoming daughter Isabella Dillon. She and her husband and Hollywood agent are already have a son, Milo, who is three. Congratulations to all. Looking no, great there. Milo and Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth, uh, it's a beautiful name, Elizabeth Dillon and yeah, Milo. And Milo. Like Thank you. Good names. <laughs> well, while we were at it, how about some, um, while we're at it, how about some birthdays? Celebrity okay. birthdays. Let's see who's celebrating their big day. The comedian icon Bob Newhart turns 85. Actress and seemingly ageless beauty Raquel Welch, she turned 74. Oh, gorgeous. And Beetlejuice and Batman actor Michael Keaton, 63. Happy birthday to you all.